else. Oh, this is just great, this, isn't it? I've just got rid of 40,000 absolute brummy idiots. Now I've got to stand in a queue at the Gaffer's Job Centre with you absolute whoppers. Yeah, of course. Mmm, well, you know, oh, a big whopper with extra cheese and 12 sides of fries and some mozzarella sticks. Mmm, sounds delicious. But on, those, on serious note, Stevie, I know how you feel, but at least those fans never threw a cabbage at your head. Well, you know. I don't bloody blame them, bloody hell! Listen, what does that Unai Emery get the village job? It's all these bloody foreigners coming over and taking our jobs! No, no offence, Rafa. Yeah, I have to say that uh, I have a better uh, CV at my clubs than most of you. So I have worked at Real Madrid, uh, Napoli, Valencia, Liverpool, Chelsea and F. I mean nobody. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm very proud to be here with you beautiful human average football managers with not very much to offer the game there. Brendan, why are you even here? You're still in a job. I don't know how, because you're absolutely crap. I've worked for you, you're absolutely awful. Yeah, of course. Well, no, listen, Slippy G, you know, I'm just looking for something a wee bit bigger than Leicester City. So if Kid and Mr. Harry's are taken on, that would be really good. Um, but, you know, I'm after a big job. The last big job I had, I lost because, you know, some, some Slippy G, you know, managed to slip on his big, hairy bottom there. Yeah, of course. Look, I'm not very good at keeping managers in a job. Um, I can't even keep myself in a job. But that wasn't my fault. It was the Villa fans and that big noodle leather dope tire on Mings. It was his fault. Yeah, of course. Oh, shut up, Gerard. Bloody hell. Get back to Liverpool on the lines, will you? Bloody work yourself out like the bloody rest of us. You absolute clown. You only manage one team in Scotland. Shut your mouth and I'll come and shut it for you. Yeah, okay, you need to shut up, you big ginger harsh. Right, I say this all the time about you. You have only ever managed one club, and it was in Burnley, and they were crap, okay? Your tactics were to kick and punch. Get back in your box, you big ginger Lego head. Yeah, okay, fact. Yeah, of course, Frank. Uh, you shouldn't be until next season after you've put Everton in the Championship. You're still in a job. Why are you here? Yeah, I'm just checking my options, Sam. Because it's only a better time, isn't it? But now, serious, two more defeats, and I'm a gonna. Yeah, of course, look, I'm prepared to work anyway, as long as it's in Inverness or Dumbarton. Yeah, of course. Well, you know, I'm just here to ruin another club and get a massive payoff. I've got 375 already for me collection. I'm a blooming billionaire. I've had more clubs than Tiger Woods. <laughs> well, you know, I'm running out of blooming options. Well, you know. I'll give you a club, Brucey. A bloody nine iron to the back of the head. Shut up, will you? Absolute joke. You're good for eating bloody kebabs, aren't you? You're a disgrace. Oh, you get 25 bloody opportunities and I'll get one. And it's in Burnley. Oh, it's an absolute disgrace. Just shut up. Giz a job, please, anyone. Just giz a job. Get me away from these absolute morons. Yeah, you can have my job if you want, Darcy. Lose 90% of games. <laughs> they give you a massive payoff and you go and get a much bigger job. <laughs> but serious now, I'll probably get the England job next. Right, the lot of you, I want you outside and I want to scrap a proper managerial Royal Rumble because I can't stand the lot of you. First Brucey, then Gerard. Gonna smash the lot of you in. Mmm, smash potato with loads of gravy. Mmm, piece of chicken. Well, you know. Mm. Yeah, I see. I will make you smell my big, smelly Spanish armpits, okay? Fact. Yeah, of course, let's get outside and have a scrap. It'll be the first time I've attacked in 14 years of football management. Yeah, of course. Ah, boys, come on, I'm not going to go outside and fight with anyone, but seriously, if anyone wants it, let's go and head outside right now. Well, I'm not so proud to be here. You've shown no character. The last time I had to spend, you know, time with five footballing morons like this was when I signed Ricky Lambert, Fabio Barini, Colo Torre, Weijo Allen and Simon Mignolet in one transfer window.